So I would say uh, the most important psychological effect of marijuana is the effect it has when people hear the name marijuana. In fact, in the 1930s, people there was uh, newspaper headlines about homicide cases in New York, where just people would say just being in the room with marijuana was enough to give them homicidal vibrations uh, and to cause them to go violent and kill people. Uh, this is a, was an absurd idea, but it was part of the era of reefer madness. All of this is just to tell you that the, uh, the effects that a drug has on the psyche, especially a psychologically activating drug or psychoactive drug, has a lot to do with how we perceive it, the context that it's in introduced to us in, and uh, it's not just all about chemistry and neurochemistry and pharmacology and receptors. So um, uh, it's important to understand the psychological effects of marijuana have a lot to do with how it's, uh, the, the user or the consumer of marijuana is uh, prepared to experience it. It's called expectation. This is actually a whole field called social pharmacology. So that's social pharmacology 101. Now, given that, there are still some effects that you can imagine in a naive or a first-time user of a drug. Uh, very famously, it was written about in a sociology journal called Becoming a Marijuana User in the 1950s by Howard Becker. And he talked about how the user of marijuana really just has to learn to get used to its effects. Sometimes there's no effect initially. Uh, subsequent effects, they have to learn to uh, use what's called a, you know, a relaxation response, associate its use with an idea of chilling out or relaxing. And what does that have to do with? That has to do with the stress axis in the body that the chemicals in marijuana actually um, interact with. And it's possible that that's what the body is um, kind of tapping into. Now, placebo marijuana exists in studies and people get the same effects uh, that they uh, would get from regular marijuana because they are expecting these things. So you have to always keep that in mind. The placebo effect is very strong with psychologically activating drugs. But overall, if you poll many thousands of people who have used marijuana, they will, uh, will all say that, uh, or the vast majority will talk about a uh, re stress, re stress relief or relaxation psychologically, a state that is both activating and relaxed at the same time. And page people will talk about improved mood um, and a sense of well-being. And all of that is related to uh, the receptors in the brain that are in the higher uh, portions of our cortex, the more advanced parts of our brain that uh, are involved with mood and thought and, uh, as I mentioned, the stress axis, the hypothalamus. So those are some of the most commonly uh, viewed psychological effects. Now, in, pa in people who are um, uh, fearful or maybe have a negative reaction, you can see uh, reactions of paranoia or confusion or sedation or dizziness. All, all of those kinds of things can be also seen. Uh, and certainly when um, people are concerned about their, how their use of this uh, substance will be viewed by authorities or um, there can always be a reaction of a higher heart rate or a kind of a fear reaction. Again, there is a little bit of an increase in, in your heart rate with marijuana, but if you are anxious about that, that will cause your heart rate to go up even further. So there's a lot of feedback to the, how the user is ex going to experience the effect. So a little bit of the psycholo psychological effects of marijuana. Mm -hmm.